Don't forget you can check out the stream live every Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Central, www.twitch.tv forward slash x underscore utter chaos underscore x. Now let's get on to the featured video. All right, everybody, welcome into my MLB, the show 20 fantasy, or not fantasy, franchise GM series here. And uh, we're going to get through this quarantine together. Hopefully I can give you some good content. Uh, but please ignore uh, my little uh, webcam there, there. The audio did not come through. So having to retape the audio portion of this, it'll be the first couple that go like that, but uh, it'll clean up soon enough. Um, so as you see now, I've chosen the Baltimore Orioles as the team we're basically going to do a franchise rebuild on. Uh, if you get MLB the show, Baltimore is the 30th ranked team out of 30. So we've got a little bit of work ahead for us. Uh, one of the first things that you do want to look at whenever you uh, are going to start a franchise is you want to go take a look at your roster. So scroll over here, and by looking at the roster, you can see where the strengths of your team are, where the weaknesses, where you got to improve. As you see, I own, my best player is 80 rated, so I've got a lot of work to do here. You kind of want to see where maybe you can improve early on. And uh, we can do that through free agency, which I'll show you in a bit. But you also then want to take a look at uh, your your minor league system because that's going to tell you where your prospects are. So they, they'll be marked with a special uh, little indicator. And uh, the one thing about this team, we, we have nothing at this time. So a lot of work that we're going to have to do here. Surprisingly, there's a couple players on our or, uh, yeah, single-A squad that are going to come up and, and be a part here later on. All right, so the next thing you want to go and take a look at is your budget. The budget is going to tell you what basically uh, you're dealing out in contracts for every year. This is also going to be big for you. As you see, I've got Chris Davis, first baseman. 23 million a year for the next three years and he's only 63 rated so that's going to be a big part of what we choose to do with our team and uh, i have already gone through and given a few contract extensions for some of our better players just to get them at a good rate for the next year uh the next few years but we'll go into that a little bit later all right now that we've looked at the budget I'm going to head over to the trades and we're going to set up our trade block. As you see, I've already done it here. I've put Chris Davis on the trading block. Another key thing that you can do in the trading block is you can put what you're interested in. That way a team may be looking to take that player off your hands, can see what you're looking for. And if they have excess in that position, that can help you out. So you just go into update trading block, put the players that you want to put on the trading block there, and then you know, tell them what you want. Now, the next big part here is free agents. This is how I'm going to improve my team right off the block. As you see here, a starting pitcher right there at the top. He's 21 years of age, already 79 rated. This guy is going to instantly come into the team and, uh, and really bolster my rotation. And there's a couple other players here. As you see underneath him, Yasiel Puig, also 79 rated. I have a good right fielder, but I'm in the American League, so I could always use a DH. So, Yasiel Puig would be one I'm interested in bringing in. Also, there is a relief pitcher uh, like Vizcaino. He could bolster the bullpen. So, right there, that is three players I can pick up right at the beginning of this series and at least add a little bit of improvement uh, to the squad. Uh, but there's only there's one big part of that is as you come into uh, the series, you're going to have a full roster. So you're going to have to release players in order to make room for these players. And then there's a, a couple of roster moves, uh, things that you have to do, because a couple of these guys are going to go right into the MLB squad. So you're going to have to create space for them there as well. But we'll talk about that 
once we get into the move to do that. Okay, so now another big thing you want to take a look at pretty early on is your contracts. Under the contracts tab, you have coaching contracts and your scouting contracts. Uh, I'm not going to mess much with the coaching ones, but scouts are important. Uh, once the season starts, you've got about two months before the draft, and this is your time to scout the key players that are going to help build the squad. Um, I have gone and already replaced some. You know, they, there's four things. There's efficiency, discovery, uh, pitchers, and uh, like fielding players. And they, they have ratings in there uh, determined on how well they find certain things. So make sure you have a good scouting department if you're doing a rebuild because you want to find the best players in the draft. That way it's an easier rebuild. You can get players that can basically come in the next season and be on the major league roster. Uh, so for me, it's going to be a key thing to find hopefully two of those players this first year. And then as far as the coaching contracts, you can make the changes that you need to. I'm going to leave all my coaches there for this first year. Um, basically, it's going to give you a, a grade on them as well. Uh, you know, you've got the regular manager, hitting coach, pitching coach, first and third base, and then your farm director. Farm director is basically going to give you reports monthly on how well the farm teams are doing. And you can see these all are valued on a year basis as well so if it's bad you could go ahead and replace them but you know like that pitching coach he's a c at the end of the year i'm going to replace him for something better okay so we've got three players that we want to in to pick up out of free agency so i've got to clear three spots on the roster in order to be able to sign those um now this is you know, this is where you get paid the big bucks, right? Going through and determining what players you're going to cut out of your roster in order to make room uh, for those three players. I typically go for the lowest rated at first. And as you can see here, I've got about 12 catchers in the system. That's way too many. So I'm going to cut one of the older uh, catchers out of here. That's going to clear up one spot. Um Another thing, if you if you clear out somebody that's on the major league squad, that automatically opens up a spot in the major league system. Otherwise, you're going to have to go in later, which we'll get to it, and, and make roster moves in order to promote players onto the 40-man roster and then on, onto the uh, MLB roster. And, you know, right there, you saw I'm not cutting Chris Davis. Hopefully... I can get somebody to come in for a trade for him during the season and uh, take him off my hands. But uh, Tommy Malone is a perfect case. I've got a starting pitcher coming in, so I can cut a starting pitcher out of the AAA squad. You know, I tend to look more on what their potential is. Oh, you know, is is one of the main factors I look at whenever I'm cutting him. Uh, and he was a D potential at, at kind of a lower rating, whereas maybe there was somebody younger with a B potential. That means they're going to grow a little bit more, whereas somebody with a D potential is not going to quite grow as much. So, you know, it, it, like I said, it's going to be up to you. But uh, that's ultimately going to determine, you know, kind of how things go for your club. And here we'll go in and sign those free agents. And as you see right there, that starting pitcher that we signed already became a top prospect for the club. That's why it was key for us to sign him. And the, the last couple things I'm going to do here is I'm going to have to make room because Puig and Vizcaino, uh, I want to put them on the MLB squad, but I already have 40 men. You only get 40 men to put as part of the 40-man rotation. So if you're going to... First, you have to add them to the 40-man, which means you've got to remove somebody from the 40-man. And when you remove somebody from the 40-man, they have to clear waivers, which means every team in the league, if they want to, can sign them. Otherwise, then they'll move down to AAA. 
uh, and that's that happens I believe almost automatically at least the spot opens up automatically and then you can go in and add the players you want to the 40-man roster and then also move them up to the major league roster which I don't think I, I move them up to the major league roster here uh, but I do put them on the 40-man so they can at least go to spring training and then right before the season I add them to the major league roster and uh, and that is basically all we're going to do here. So we'll wrap it up, and uh, I'll see you next time. Hope you learned something.